Karibu sana uh, kwenye Rofina TV. Kwa ni maragu ya kwanza, wacho uneza ukikifanya, uneza finye subscribe button. Ili kila wakati kuna video, video mpia imeekwa, uneza kuwa wakwanza uh, kuipata. Uh, itakuwa mzuri kama atina wewe pia unaunga na familia Rofina TV. Ili kila wakati tuende kwa upesi moja. Baada kusubscribe, uh, uneza finye like button. Alafu pia uneza share na marafiki. Pia uneza comment, uh, uneza chaka comment hapo chini, utuambia unatoza mkiwa wapi. Mbehu, una kufikiaje na maoni yako tu kuhusiana na mambo kama haya na maswala ambayo yanafanyika nchini Kenya na hata inchi za ngambo sana kuzungumza kuhusu hili swala la land eh. kuna building eh, kuna building ilikuwa inajengwa kule kule parklands na inasemekana ya kwamba koti iliamua ya kwamba eh, uje, ujenzi huo usimame kwa kwa muda kiasi. Ugorofa 12 eh, na unaona kwamba ni ujenzi eh, building yenyewe ni mrefu. Uh, it is reprieved for Parkland residents in Nairobi after a court stopped the construction of an apartment block apartment block said to be posing risk to the community. Justice Oscar Angote sitting at Envir Environment and Lands Court in Milimani ruled that ruled that allowing the developers continue with construction without proper planning and approval will ends tazalen resident and infringing infringe on their rights healthy environment in the in the petition ruling developed in the, in the petition ruling developed on may 25th that is 2023 justice angote indicated the interested parties have been made to to further development on the land that is number that is land number 209 stroke 75 7549 located along city park drive parklands the court is satisfied that the residents have raised genuine fears of their, of their safety in the construction is allowed to proceed and betable and betted and issues an order stopping the construction pending determ determination of this of dispute ruled and got it. that is the the judge yeah? that is yeah that is yeah, the justice in a, in in an affidavit before court it is said in the mo in the afternoon of june 5th uh, that officers from Nairobi City County Government paid a visit to the development site, spending more than an hour at the site before leaving without stopping the ongoing construction work. In, great, in granting the orders, Angote said the alleged harms cannot be co commensurate, commensurate with any monetary value and will cause ir irrepeatable harm both to the environment and iki ndo kitu mbacho kinafanyika uh, unasikiza ya kwamba uh, watu wanalalamika wa, wa, watu ambao wanaishi hapo wanalalamika ya kwamba oh, ujenzi huo hautakuwa yani itawaumiza ita, ita au wa, watu ambao wanaishi hapo itawaumiza yani kikiafya si si kwa nini lakini ina kitu ambacho nafikiria ni ya kwamba yani wanaofia uchafu utatoka kule alafu maybe kama kuna 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 umoshi it, it will cause let, let, let me just put it in a simple term that it will cause environmental environmental pollution yeah? and uh, it will harm their health that is that is their risk and that is their, their fear now sio hii peke yake kuna kitu ambacho ana kisa ambacho kili, kilitendeka inaitwa isili ambapo kuna kuna ujenzi ulikuwa unaendelea na wakati nyumba yenyewe ilikuwa inajengwa imefika ghorofa ya tatu na kwa sasa inasemekana kwamba watu watatu washafariki so unaona vitu ambavyo ujenzi kama hivi eh, ambao vinaendelea nchini eh, without approval hii inasemekana kwamba ana inasemekana kwamba hii ya, ya Parklands polisi wanaenda kule ndio kule wakamaliza karibu masaa mawili matatu masaa mawili matatu na wakatoka kule bila chochote bila kufanya chochote na ujenzi uka, ukazidi kuendelea so unaona uh, so inabidi mara, inabidi raia watu ambao wanaishi kule uh, hapo karibu ndio waanze waanze kulia wa raise alarm inasemekana raise alarm to the government ambapo sasa justice akaamua kuingilia kati na wameamua kwamba uh, ujenzi wenyewe uta uta, uta, uta simamishwa kwanza ili eh, mambo mambo ambayo wanafaa kuyafanya mastakabadhi angaliwe na mambo kama hayo. Eh, yaani watu wanaamua tu wenye, wenye, wenye hela, yani wale wenye kwa, wako class ya juu eh, wacha nitumie mtamu kama hiyo. Watu ambao wako kule juu hawaangalii maslahi na maisha ya watu ambapo ambao wako huku chini. Ya eh, wanasema kwamba hasla mambo na hasla wataangalia maisha ya hasla lakini sikwizi hasla mwenyewe ndio wanaumia. Ndio kama hiki kinaumiza yule mtu wa chini kwa sababu huyo mtu wa juu yeye kazi yake ni kujenga nyumba, akishajenga nyumba yeye atamaliza na watu aambie watu anze 
kuishi na hata atapokea hela tu kwa sababu at the end of the month watu watanza watanza kulipa pengine watama hii sidhani na alafu penye pamejengwa penye panajengwa si si pesa kidogo mimi kuingilia kati baada tu ya raia mtu ambaye alijua kwamba anafinyiliwa anaenda kuumia kuingilia kati na kupeleka malalamishi yako So yeye mwenyewe unasema nini kuhusiana na mambo kama haya mambo ambayo yanajengwa ujenzi ambao unajengwa hapa na pale kila wakati na watu wenye fedha wanao mwenyewe wa, wakiamua kufanya wanafanya so hao wanaamua kujenga nyumba wakijenga nyumba wanaacha hivyo alafu hawaangalii mtu wa chini ataumiaje ama mtumini yako hapo chini huyu mama mwenye anauza mboga hapo chini ama huyu mama mwenye anapika chapati pengine anapika mandazi hapo chini na pengine kwa samaki ataumiaje ata, ama atafilaje ata so maoni yako ni sijui maoni yako ni gani kupitia haya maneno ya mambo haya mambo ambayo yanateleka nchini na itakuwa sawa alafu baadaye utuambie tu ningependa kitu ambacho ningependa uniambie hapo kwa comment section hapo chini uniambie unatazamukiwa wapi yani na ukiwa Kenya ni sawa unaweza niambia unatazamukiwa Kenya ukinya, ukiwa pale Uganda ukiwa pale popote ambapo ulipo ukiwa South Africa anywhere you are just give a comment down there kama Rafina kama Rafina TV tujue kwamba yani unatazamukiwa wapi na mambo yatakuwa sawa